Rory Roxy Imam Burdell asked, It's awesome that T-Bone's out, but who's going to protect the young prisoners now? That's a question. <clears throat> yep. Uh, okay, well, in prison, most people have to learn to stand up for themselves, and unfortunately, there are people who uh, like to take advantage. And it's not prisons all over the world, you know, it's just not here in the U.S. But, um, <clears throat> you know, th 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 hopefully, you know, someone else comes along who has the, uh, the strength, intelligence, and, 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 and desire to want to be, you know, a positive influence, you know, even though it's a negative place. And um, there are other people outside myself who believe, you know, in helping others. You know, uh, I believe God put me in that position, you know, for that reason. And I believe God's going to protect those people if they believe and they turn to Him. But there's not many people, Tim, risking their own lives to help complete strangers, young people, in the prison environment where it's totally cutthroat. I mean, that takes a very special person. Say that again, I'm sorry. It takes, Is that a question? It takes a very special person to do that. There's not many people doing that. Well, there, there are some people who, who uh, we see other people being taken advantage of, and they, they say things about it. A lot of times they don't, you know, stand up and, and want to, you know, get physical, you know, but... I did it because I believe, you know, I was, I was inspired to do so from, you know, from the man above. You know, I, I, I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, anyone special, because I'm not special, you know. I'm, I'm just a man, but, you know, you find yourself in situations, as you do know, Sean, you know, in, in prison, you got to make a choice, you know. You, you, you say, okay, well, I can run around and do drugs, or I can run around and be a thug and, you know, and follow the crowd, or I can, I, I, I can try to be something different, you know, it's a state of mind and, and spirit that you have to get yourself, you know, uh, into, you know, you just can't allow yourself to be uh, uh, misled or, or, or hurt. Right. All right, I've got a question here from Jess Dinsley. She asks, what did you do to get into prison and how long have you served? I'm not going to go into all the time I served, but I served enough time. Uh, something you want to forget. I, 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 I sold drugs. I, um, I was into trafficking and stolen property, and uh, I got caught with a weapon. So, so, did you end up doing about 20 years over the years? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tom Hart asked, how did you get the name T-Bone? Well, I was playing football in Virginia, Sandlot football, and, uh, you know, my name is Tim, and this one guy was catching the ball over the middle, and I was playing outside with linebacker on the right side, and the guy caught the ball, and I peeled back, stepped forward, and he caught it, and crushed his ribs and knocked the air out of him and he laid there and uh, like a bone in the dirt, you know. And so they said, hey, that's your name, T-Bone, T-Bone, you know, they were calling me T-Bone. <laughs> Nathan Hughes, he wants to know, do you support any English soccer team? Well, I, uh, uh, Manchester, because that's just where you're from, Sean. Well, when I was a kid, because I lived in between Liverpool and Manchester, when I was a kid, right. I, I supported Manchester United. Right, yeah, Manchester United, yeah. I, um, I, I used to watch Beckham, you know, what team he played for, I forget. And uh, I like the Manchester United. Uh, I also like uh, Real Madrid. Uh, uh, I like the English national team, of course. You know, they're my cousins, the English. Uh, <laughs> Um, what's his name? Rooney, the little short guy. He's he's a pretty awesome striker. I like him, you know. But I guess Manchester United's my team, you know, because that's the area you're from. Okay, cool. Katie Farrell, she wants to know how.
How did you cope with prison day to day? Well, you gotta you gotta do a lot of praying. You gotta do a lot of meditating. And meditating in the ancient Hebrew is to speak. So you speak positive things, you know, and, and then sometimes you, you know, you go into the Western philosophy of uh, meditation. The Western part of meditation is, you know, sitting and, and envisioning, you know, uh, positive things and uh, do a lot of reading. You, you, and uh, so I surround yourself with people who are like-minded. And, you know, you, uh, you let people know who are into dirt. Hey, I'm not into it. Stay away. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta let them know from the start. You know, and and uh, that's how I dealt with it. I went to God. God gave me strength. What about debating with the English? Huh? What about debating with the English? Debating with English? <laughs> the English are professional debaters. <laughs> English are known, especially in the Parliament. You know, they're they're known for their, their debating skills. You know, an argument in England is not a, a, a fight. It's an argument. It's 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 passion and 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 and, uh, and, and intelligence. You know, it's, it's something that that the people in the West don't understand. You know, uh, I sit down with someone, uh, 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 you know, over a steak or uh, you know a mutton pie or something, and, and debate with them over you know uh, you know some some positive things, nothing uh, negative. Well, we we used to have some good debates, didn't we? Yeah, you and I used to have some serious debates, man. We used to have some fun. <laughs> we had some fun, especially about the Palestinians. <laughs> I'll never forget. I, I, I'm the, uh, of course, you know, I'm the expert in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, I used to win all our debates because, you know, um, you know, I always had all the facts. He used to win all those. He used to win all those debates because he was bigger than me. No, we had all the facts. You were smart. You were a smart man. You know, you used to use all your psychology and, and, and guile. You know, I used to have to uh, stand back and watch in amazement how you dealt with all those people in there with your with your ability to use your psychology. You know, the old English guile. Old English guile. <laughs> you know, it's just true. You know, the English are known around the world for their, their ability to be. Uh,